farming journey began six years ago. I was working in an office like any other person with uh, AC. I was a boss, I was a manager, managing two radio stations as a music controller. That was huge. I was earning a seven digit salary. Hmm. My passion was somewhere else now. I had to change into farming. I was inspired by a guy called Farid Karama. I'd saved some money, bought land, and I wanted to, uh, to, to start farming. So I started with coffee and poultry. Those birds gave me the zeal. I really felt I should inspire other people in my category, women, the youth. And so I took it upon myself to post everything, every day of my life at the farm. The job that was my side job became my main job. So I resigned. I became a proud farmer. I came up with the slogan, proud farmer. I changed the look of farmers. I started wearing gumboots and, 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 uh, and uh, overalls. So I would go on my page and write how you can quickly change from your heels to overalls. And I would hashtag with a proud farmer. With a way I looked, dreadlocks, tattoos, my nails, Every time I would post, people would be like, ah, she's lying, she's kidding, she's probably at someone's farm. I never really like bothered so much because I knew where my passion was. I loved what I was doing. And to me, at least I was creating a buzz. I was probably changing someone's life. Back then, uh, most people had a bad perception, I cannot say bad perception about farming, but their perception about farming was, farming was a dirty job, farming was for the elderly, farming for, was for the people who, who retired. So my main aim was to change the perception about farming. I took it upon myself to say that as a woman, you can become a farmer, you can change from hills to gumboots to overalls. Yes, so Crystal. <laughs> I took it upon myself to change the perception about farming. As a woman, as a youth, I might not be the youth, but my main objective was to change that perception towards the youth and women. So I would show people every day of my journey how I changed from heels into gumboots into my overalls. So I really created a different picture of farming. Like every lady today, almost 70% of people who farm they wear overalls, they wear gumboots, they share on social media. Who began that journey? Me. I'm so proud of that. I decided to inspire and at least change the perception. And this is how I would do it. I would make sure every step I take, I'm with my followers. If it is about a plant, if it is about beans, I'll take one day from the process of planting to the process of weeding and harvesting, and I would share it in pictures, and I would write something. And every time I would have hashtag proud farmer to make sure that everyone who is a farmer, you can be proud to be a farmer. When I took birds at home, from day one, I took pictures. People would see how to feed birds, how to take them, how to immunize them, how they start laying. So every stage that I was at, I decided to share it with my followers, and that, was so inspirational. Many people would come, even today, people write to me, you inspire me. I started farming after reading your posts. I started farming two years ago after, uh, after, after uh, watching you do this. I started, uh, I bought land, and that really warms my heart. Today, I can say I'm one of those proud farmers, one of the females proud farmers. I'm invited to do speak, to speak to young children. I'm invited to speak to the youth. I'm invited to do most of the things to inspire and change and motivate the youth. Today, I'm one of those thought after farmers. Not that I am the best, like I have a million acres or I use tractors. No, I'm a farmer you can relate to because I am that local farmer who does everything in a local way, like traditional way. And I'm an ambassador at Brian White Foundation as a proud farmer. I'm a radio presenter and I am a TV host on Lima with Bettina, proud farmer. People today have embraced farming. Many people are on social media sharing their journey, sharing everything. They're on radio talking about farming. 
encouraging others to join them. As you wake up to go to your office every day, I wake up and go to my farm. It's my office, my AC, open roof. 